Hey there, this is Angie M. So I am starting the desire mapping process for 2021. Year of the, let's get back on track. All right, that's kind of the last quarter of 2020 as well. So I have here my notes and sort of the little calendar that I made from a cloth and paper habit tracker sticky for how I'm going to do this. It should not take me the entire month of December. At least it's not the goal, considering <laughs> considering the videos for this, I actually want to get up this this coming week. So it's a thing. All right, so what I've got here, I have the desire map. Basically, I have the entire program. So I have the book, and I also have the digital version, which I printed because I need to read it. And then I have the, so this is the first section. And then starting back here is the workbook section. I also have the desire map online course, which I purchased. And this is to go along with the videos. I don't know how deep into this I'm going to get, which is why I printed four pages to a sheet because I don't, what I don't wanna have happen is I don't wanna get caught up in answering. I wanna do really short, really quick hit stuff, what pops into the mind and what goes. So where I'm gonna start is I'm going to start by, by reading the book and looking at notes that I make as, as I read through. I do that a lot. Basically then from there, after I do the read through, do some quick, just some deep breathing, get it down. Then I'll watch through the, blah, 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 through the desire map course and do the workbook with the course. Again, I intend to go through it very quickly. I don't want to spend a lot of time on any one section. Do some more deep breathing, maybe a meditation in there. And then I'm gonna run through the book's workbook. So then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna go through the workbook section. Then maybe do a little bit of meditation, some little bit of thought, and choose my words between three and five for 2021. Again, I'm going to be using this schedule here. I wanna do the read through really quickly and then I want to really quickly move on and start doing the actual course. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the read through I will probably make some notes and start the course because this will take me a couple days to, to get through, I'm sure, with the video content. And then I will come back and I will give an update to you on that and how it's going. And then I just pulled my calendar here. Let's see. I wanna make sure that I didn't plan some sort of grand reveal in December. Hum, 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 So I don't have it slated to reveal my words until January, January 8th. <laughs> so here is my schedule. So on January 8th, I am planning to reveal my words for the year. The reason I'm not going to reveal them right away is because sometimes the words change. Sometimes we think through some things and stuff doesn't necessarily stay the same. We get some better ideas. Maybe we check the entire thing and want to start over. It's, it's a process. So I am going to get started on that and I will see you again halfway through.